Dzień dobry, welcome to Warsaw here in Poland. I'm here with my Polish girlfriend, Karolina. Hello, cześć. So Karolina, you're going to be taking us around Warsaw. Yes. What is the plan for today? So right now we are in the heart of the old town and we will stroll through beautiful, charming streets and show you some bits of architecture. And as we, you know us, we like our food. Traditional Polish food. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Yes, so we will have some authentic dishes. Mm -hmm. And oh yes, sorry, uh, we're going to be showing you some history here in Warsaw, especially during the World War II, it had a big impact, there were some kind of like gunshots in the background, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, had a lot of impact here in Warsaw, so we're going to be bringing you into some of the history and... and Obviously, the, yeah. we would need to have a signature dessert that I think that you, you're, you're going to love. Ponchek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this statue just behind us. What's yeah. happening here? So this is one of our monarchs. It's Zygmunt III Vaza, the third Vaza. And he actually moved the capital city from Krakow to Warsaw. Uh, so it's quite an important person. And also you can show this is the... Like red... Royal... Is that a palace? Or? Yeah, this is like a royal castle. So okay. the monarchs started to live here like uh, I think in the 16th century or something like are that. They, so are they fireworks in the background? Or like <laughs> no. is that a normal type fire? <laughs> no, it's quite it's, scary. It sounds actually. like gunshots. It was an intro. Yeah, but one important thing is yep. that actually 85% uh, of Warsaw was completely destroyed during the Second World wow. War. So the architecture that we are going to show you, it's actually completely reconstructed. So this is all pretty much new. Yeah. I mean, them buildings there. Yeah. They actually, look that's a, such a great spot because these buildings are the old ones. These two here weren't destroyed, but these are all, everything else is pretty new. Yeah. You can see on the building over here. I don't know if they made it like this or if it's just kind of old. It's just old yeah. yeah. And you can see in the kind of architecture here. Oh, what is that? Okay. From the palace. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. So it's every hour they ring the, yeah. the bells? Yeah, probably 10 times. Oh. And, uh, it is pretty cold today. I mean, it's very grey. I mean, I'm from England, so <laughs> it's uh, pretty similar weather. As you can see my mittens. It's yeah. March time, so actually it shouldn't be that cold. Ooh. It is nice and warm in here. And we have come in to get some delicious chocolatey goods. You can see everywhere is covered in chocolate. Look at that chocolate just over there. We have uh, extra time. Slightly bitter milk and white. Oh, maybe slight. Are oh, you gonna have I, one? Yeah, I think for me, extra bitter. Okay, so one extra bitter, one slightly bitter. Medium size? Um, medium yes. size, yes, please. Thank you. Come on, drink away. Pay in Zloty. Yes, yes. yes. I think that's cheaper. <laughs> If you uh, pay in your home currency, so in the UK, you actually end up paying so much more. You want to always pay in the local currency, so zloty. Yeah. What do you say? Zloty. Zloty. Polish zloty. Polski zloty. And if I'm English, I say, I can say zloty? Yeah. Drink away, Amir. Thank you. All right, guys, we've got our beautiful Vedel hot chocolate. I, I don't have too much of a sweet tooth to have so much of the chocolates here, but uh, <laughs> hot chocolate will do. Let's head back into Old Town. Oops. I think it's from the inside. Oh, inside. The doors <laughs> that's, are quite heavy. That's, that's why you need Carolina. All right. Yes. So, we've got our Vedel here. Should we open one of them up and show them what's yeah. inside? Should I do that or should do yeah, you want to? Yeah, go for it. So this is the place. We're just in Old Town. There's a Vedel here. So look how thick the chocolate is. This is extra bitter. I wow. like it because, oh my God. The smell, smell. I wish you could smell it. Oh yeah, that is good. It's very strong. So I did a bit of research on Vedel and it was started in 1851. So almost 200 years old here in Poland. It's the most famous chocolatier yes, in Poland. Everyone knows that and everyone loves it. And it smells really rich. You can see from the dark richness. Yes. It's not just like a milky, watery, hot chocolate. No. It is the real deal. Yes. But is it like cool enough to drink this try out. I will say so. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh super chocolatey I rich. That. Mine I'm glad I didn't go for too bitter because mm. slightly bitter is still quite dark. I love uh, like bitter bitter because I would say it's still kind of like a dessert chocolate like let's mm. say 65% it's it, not like it's 100. <laughs> definitely feels like a dessert. So we have made it to the Rynek Stargo Miasta. 
Yes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. So we're at the market square. The buildings are very colorful and beautiful. Again, they are very new. Do you know roughly when they reconstructed it? Yeah, after the Second World War. Straight away? Yeah. Pretty much? Yes. Uh, and there's lots of beautiful details in the buildings. You've got little kind of like sculptures and carvings. It's just very charming, very nice. And you even got a gold building just over here. You've got a school trip happening. You've got this building which is pretty much got loads of Christmas trees out the front. Yeah. And it's uh, completely gold. Yeah. And it's actually so funny because in front of us we'll show you there is a scaffolding because there was the ice skating rink for the Christmas market. And it's March time and they still didn't really clean it up. Like <laughs> Yeah, they still got the ice skating ring here and it's like kind of said it's March time, but there is a sculpture there which is the mermaid, which is the symbol of Warsaw. So I did my research and the mermaid has a sword and a shield which is very interesting because you don't usually see mermaids like that but that's because the mermaid is a symbol of resilience and determination for warsaw it's a that she's a defender of warsaw so the history is is that she swam to where warsaw is right now down the vistula river and made a pact with the fishermen to protect the city which i love i love that there's a yeah. mermaid symbol like a mermaid gladiator with a <laughs> sword and shield. But uh, as you can see, very beautiful buildings. You've got the Museum of Warsaw. See, is that what it is? Museum yes. War... How do you say it? Warsaw. Museum Warsaw. of Warsaw, but it's Museum actually Warsh huge. Like all of Museum these Museum Warsaw. Yes. And um, again, very, very beautiful. I, I love these street posts. They're very elegant. So we are just strolling through the streets of Old Town. Very beautiful kind of small alleyways with cobbled pavements you can eat everything's very cobbled and so it gives it a kind of very kind of you know, classic historic feel to the yeah, city like medieval vibes and talking about some history um we're coming up to what looks like a lot of brick um is this some kind of fort it looks like it's yes. at the entrance to the yes. old town so it's called uh, barbacan and it's actually like the old fort that was around the hall of old town like mm. from the med medieval times okay so it's an old fort and you can actually step up over here and i think climb along the wall and peek out oh wow that's pretty cool it's a nice little view so you can walk along the wall here it's also another wall so it's like two walls that are kind of fortified probably the river here that you think so? Like yeah. The river would have been flowing through here? I would say so. Like, I'm not 100% sure how it would be You're exactly a Polish here. historian. You should know your <laughs> Polish history. Yeah, but definitely somewhere <laughs> around here, there used to be a river. you got these kind of small little gaps in here as well. Okay, so, and the view, as you can see, kind of structure from the outside. It does look like a bit of a castle. And uh, maybe them two places are where the water was running through kind of protect the city we have made it to a very particular restaurant called Zappi Yetzek uh, Carolina tells me that it is a classic yes. place to have good Polish food yes I'll get some old babcha and <laughs> what do you call it old grand Jadek Jadek yes okay so we're gonna have a look at the menu here it looks like you've got some kind of this is barsh right yeah. with like the little okay. dumplings and there's some soup here. I love how there's pictures on here as well. Did dobry, um, pork prosha, uh, bash, ze ush kami, um, zurek, and uh, the mixed pierogi. Okay, drink away, man. Good job. Boiled or you want these boiled? Okay. Sour cream or? Sour cream, uh, yes, sour cream. Traditional dumplings with sour cream. Yes. Okay, drink away. Thank you. Okay, so just practicing my Polish, and uh, I think sometimes uh, uh, Polish people are, uh, can be a little bit self conscious about speaking English, so I was just trying to speak Polish to make them feel yeah. a bit more comfortable. I think it went great. Yeah? Was the pronunciation okay for yeah, me? Yeah, she understood everything yeah. perfectly. All right, the food has arrived. Beautiful, look at that sausage, wow. So this is the Jurek? Yes. 
Váře oškami. Oškami, oškami, ok. That was very nice. So, what we have over here is a, no, hold it up and show you guys. Alright, <laughs> without spilling it. So we have a sausage, just like that. We've got an egg. What's on top of the egg? Is it horseradish? Yes. Some horseradish. And then we've got a soup, um, which looks like there's some kind of potato, carrots. Mm -hmm. Could be. Um, okay. And then if I flip the, <laughs> try not to spill this. Uh, Carolina has bar. Bar, cervone, so it's a beetroot soup, and as you can see, here are the kind of like little dumplings with the mushrooms inside. So this These is the forest mushrooms. Yes, so this is the soup that we usually eat on the 24th, just before Christmas, on the Christmas Eve, but I love it all year round. Okay, give it a go, why not? I'll uh, try after you. This is a very rich kind of deep red, yeah. like almost wine color. Yes, it's a bit sweet. You can taste the beetroot. But I will show you the dumpling inside. So this is called ushka, like the ear. Oh wow, look inside of there. That's the forest mushroom. They are very like uh, fragrant and actually the taste is very like mushroomy. I love it. So you can see beautiful sausage. Or is it classic just to dip it in? I think you can eat it your way, but like... Okay. Uh, let's try this out. Mmm. Wow. It's a good sausage. Mm. Mm. Very meaty, very similar to a British sausage, but it's got maybe a different seasoning. Mm. Mm. Very herby. So I can taste a lot of herbs. Yeah. Now, I think this is horseradish. It is horseradish, mm. wow. So I tried the sausage, and I try this soup. Alright, so it's very, it's kind of like. A little bit thick, but still quite runny. Ooh, it smells like sauerkraut. Is there sauerkraut in here? I think they put some, yeah. Mmm. Wow. It's like very pickly and like, mm. um... Yeah, it should be. It's quite a little bit sour. Mmm. So Carolina was saying that you should be adding the sausage and the inside. egg inside of here, but they put it on the side, so... I don't know, but there's mushrooms in here, carrots, there is sauerkraut. Mmm. Wow. On a cold winter's day, five degrees, soup is very important. Hence why I'm going to try some of the barsh. <laughs> and I think I'm going to enjoy this the most because with this barsh just here, you can see deep red color here. It's very, um, how to say, it's a little bit sweet and I do like my sweet foods, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! Huh? Look outside! Is, it, yes. is, that, is that a pierogi? This is a, a, an iconic mascot of Zapiecek. So this is a walking pierog. <laughs> one pierog. One pierogi, hello! <laughs> <laughs> is he, has he seen us? No, I not <laughs> I was just... I was literally just about to try this bark and I saw this like walking kind of pastry yeah. that is a pierogi or pierog. Pierog. Yes, just one. One. So pierogi is plural? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> a bit distracting, but is this kind of like a pierogi or yes. is this like... This is, this is called ushka, yeah. but it's kind of like a small type of pierogi. Mm. Yeah. This is so good. I like this more than mine, so I might have to steal yours. But it's um, very... <laughs> the, the walking pierogi still outside, dancing around. Um, it's sweet, and then the the dumpling gives it a really nice kind of mushroomy flavor. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Jim Thank you. All right, guys. So we've got the pierogi here. We've got a pierog just out there, <laughs> um, and we've got some sour cream. So you do do you traditionally have it with sour cream? Uh, yes. Most of the time. And so there is a bit of a mix over here. Still got my food. I think Karen has chopped up my sausage yeah. for me and uh, the egg's still just out there. And we're just enjoying this beautiful Polish traditional food. I wonder, look at the size of this thing. These are boiled, but you can have them fried, right? Yes. So let's give this a go. I wonder which one are going to go for what's Ooh. inside. Oh, the meat one. Yeah, all meat. Mm. Very meaty. All I can really taste is 
meat. Me personally, I prefer the, the vegetable, like vegetarian ones, like the sauerkraut. Is it sauerkraut and mushrooms? Yes, yeah, sauerkraut and mushrooms. Yes. And also the traditional ones are uh, ruskia. Rus uh, ruskia. Ruskia. Yes. Okay. All right. So you can see there's like this kind of strong, meaty flavors in this one. I'm gonna be a bit cheeky here. I'm gonna try and find another one. This one, I think it's Ruski. You see, like you can actually. Do you think there's the one with the sauerkraut and mushroom here? Mm, could be. Maybe this one. Yeah. Okay, let's could try be. this one. Oh. I think mm. you went for the one maybe with lentils. Mm -hmm. mm. That one for me, I prefer the flavor. The, the meat one's still nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna let you pick one. Mm. <laughs> I've just spotted. This is the sauerkraut one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do. <laughs> this is actually such a nice opportunity to try all of them. Okay, you can see in the middle there. <coughs> it went. <coughs> <coughs> I was rushing the pierogies and now it's gone down the wrong this pipe. This is what happens when you're filming. You can see there. Yeah, there's the beautiful the... sauerkraut. This is gonna be my favorite one. Yeah, I but this one don't dip in the uh, sour cream because no? usually mm, without sour cream. Yeah, without. Traditionally, you would have it's it kind of breaking with the apart butter. though. Like. Right. You like this one the most, mm. I think. Mm -mm. <laughs> Just look at this face. Mm. Somebody like in love. I like the kind of sourness of the mush of the sauerkraut, and sauerkraut, and then the mushroom flavor. <clears throat> I think the sauerkraut's my favorite. The lentil one next, and the meaty one. Hmm. Meaty one's still nice. It might come across as like I don't like the meaty one, but it's still very good. It's copyright music. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with, guys, on a daily basis. This is donuts. No, that's not true. <laughs> All right. How much does it come to? Uh, 82. 82? Okay. Yeah. Does it include. Uh... Uh, uh, did you uh 10% usually you okay. give mm -hmm. so it's like 90 slotties oh yeah that's fine okay thank you thank you so um that actually just popped up onto my phone we spent 90 zloty, so we gave like eight zloty tip. Yeah. Uh, so that came to uh, 17 pound 92. So we'll put the US dollar amount on the bottom. Should we get going? Yes. So we had to stay in the restaurant a little bit longer because Carolina actually, <laughs> considering I'm of Indian descent, I should be handling this weather a lot worse, but yeah. she is absolutely freezing. Yes. And we've got a uh, pirog just over here. Hello. Hello. Jin dobre. <laughs> Yaksha mash. <laughs> We've just it's a pirog. Eaten it's a pietek. It we were just good. there. It was good. <laughs> yes. How do you say it's uh, delicious? Bardzo dobre. Oh, bardzo dobre. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you too. You too. <laughs> yes. Bye. <laughs> that was a funny pirog. <laughs> it was. He was. He was a silent pirog. Yeah. I was. I was. I think he's cold too. <laughs> yeah, he's probably really cold. Um, bardzo dobre. Looks very official. Yeah, so the building you've just seen is the Presidential Palace. It's a lot of actually tourists coming here because there our president is living all the time. So, uh, who's the guy on the horse? It's uh, one of the kings. Joseph Poni Poniatowski. Yeah. Isn't the square we're going to the s named the same name? Uh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just carry on. Yeah, um, we are still at the old town, so it's quite official as you can see around us. But I really like the vibe, like you can just stroll for like hours and not get bored. This looks like a very fancy hotel, it's called Hotel Bristol. Yeah, it's very nice. So Bristol is actually a city in the UK, yeah. a very nice city. You can see a luxury collection hotel, host, host, Hotel Bristol. It's very official and you've actually got a lot of yeah. very nice cars. That's what I wanted to say. Literally, when you have nice Mercedes, cars. <laughs> Mercedes, Mercedes, they look like all of yeah. the kind of work. Yeah, you know that the hotel is nice when the cars like that are standing in front. What is this? This is a post box? Yeah. Hot, 
Pochta. Pochta. So a red, very red uh, post box. But um, the centre here, this is still Old Town? Yeah. Is very nice. Everything's very clean. You can see it's very spacious, very spaced out. And the buildings, all the architecture on the buildings are very nice. And these are electric buses here, I think. Mm. Yeah. I, they're very silent. Means yes, I'm electric. Yes, them electric. Yes. Means. Uh, I'm electric. I'm electric. So the buses are quite silent. It's very nice. But it is very cold. But. Oh, another one's going past. We're going to be heading in this direction to this square. I was right, guys. Yes. The guy at the pres presidential palace on the horse yeah, it is was called... Piłsudski. And this square that we're in right now is named after him, right? Yes. We just had a little look on Google. I did my research, guys. <laughs> so you can see this Polish flag just... Out. Polish flag? Polish flag. Sorry, guys. We're heading in the direction of a place called the... Um, what's the name of it again? Unknown Soldier Grave. So it's... Uh... The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Yes. You can see there's a flame just here. You've got two yeah. security guards. How close can we get? I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah, like this. <laughs> okay. It's very nice with uh, also the flame. So you've got, uh, it looks like some names on the kind of... Yeah. These are the days of kind of like the wars or the uprisings. Ah, okay. And then they've got flowers. They've got two guards with very scary looking guns with blades on the end of them. And then they've yeah. got a flame just over here. And uh, a little bit noisy because of the crane just over there. But um, each hour actually the people change. So we'll show you later on. So, so the guards will change yeah, every at the, at the end of each hour. Or, yeah. Sorry, the start of each hour. Yeah. Uh, or at the hour. At the hour. <laughs> at the hour. <laughs> But uh, on a Sunday, it's kind of like the most official change of them. Okay. Which, uh, which is quite nice as well. So it's to remember the soldiers who don't have an identity. So that's the tomb of the unknown soldier. So yeah. it makes sense. Uh, but also the flame you saw is always going. Yeah. So it's the eternal, I think it represents the eternal soul of the yeah. soldiers, the unknown soldiers. Yeah. Right now we are yep. in my favorite park which is called Saski Park and in summertime you can imagine there's a lot of flowers around there's a lot of beautiful sculptures and a fountain <laughs> as well. Right now during the winter there's no leaves. It it's looks just, uh, different looks... but you can imagine that it's very very jo nice. During the summer uh, from what I remember it's beautiful when the sun is shining you've got flowers everywhere you've got the water from the fountain running yeah. and you usually have some kind of coffee or ice cream places yeah, and there's yeah. like families and kids running around yeah. but um it feels good to be yeah. in Poland. Like we've been in Asia for the past seven months and being here in Poland just, I don't know, it just feels good. Yeah, even myself, like coming back to my country, it brings like that warmth of it. Like you just, yeah. and, and, you, you and just to, enjoy being here. And to be honest with you guys, so I always came to Poland um, because we were in a long distance relationship before and I was in England and Karen was in Poland and I was always come to Warsaw and I'd, I'd be looking forward to it. I think it took, us going away or you going away yeah. for seven months in Asia to then really appreciate what you have. Yeah, yeah um, because for me it was all normal but now I can see that it's actually such a beautiful city like Warsaw. Beautiful city and country. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's a coffee, a coffee place over there if you want a coffee. I, I've seen them a few times. Ponchek time. Look at all these beautiful ponchki. These yes. are like plural, ponchki. Yes. Look at all the doughs. They're like crispy creams but they actually look a little bit more like kind of bigger but this is the traditional one ah, these so traditional ones. Done, done it with rose marmalade this one we should okay go you're gonna get me the most typical one yes oh wow you can oh, see them making it in the back making it. That's so cool. wow she's making them fresh you can see them going onto the traces over there for prussia one is rujon <laughs> playing with cards bank of england Oh wow! There is something happening here. I've been 
been hearing sirens pretty much the entire day here in Warsaw. Like, what we... things happening, I guess. Police, ambulances, yeah. fire engines. Okay. But it's very loud. So we have got our ponchek. We're at a place called Sukernia Pavlovich. Yes. Okay, got it. And it's uh, 1946, so how long? Like 70 odd years. All right, let's get this out. So this is the most traditional one, Karina. Yes. Is that, what's on top of there? I think it's like dried maybe orange, orange, something like this. You can see it's beautifully iced. I wonder what's inside of it. I'm gonna give it a bite. It's a marmalade. This is a little hint. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's jam inside of there. Oh wow. Mm. So fresh, <laughs> so fresh. You can see she was making it in there. You see all that kind of icing? It's very soft inside. And then you can see there's like jam inside of there. I'm gonna go give that another bite. Yeah, and the uh, bread dough, like you can see, ah! Oh, there's a rose marmalade. Mm. We give it a go. So actually, you can see that it's more like bread. It's gonna drip out. <laughs> it's a yeast kind of bread. So yeah. That jam mm. tastes um, like a particular fruit. Mm. I don't, it doesn't taste like strawberry. It's something different. Rose. Oh, it's rose. Mm. Yeah, rose flavored. It's very nice. I like how flaky it is. So there's a lot of recipes for ponchak, but this is the most traditional one. So we're going to be sharing a little bit of history about Warsaw during 1944, during World War II. There was a massive uprising from Warsaw against the Nazis who were occupied, who were occupying Warsaw yeah. through Germany. And so that's what we're gonna be learning about a bit today. So we have to go get a ticket from this place called Casa. You can see in the background, the beautiful sky rise buildings. There's, that one's already built, that one's being built. Let's go get ourselves a ticket. Oh, we got some, is this the sign? What is this sign? So this is the sign of P and W Polska Walcząca, which means the fighting Poland against actually the occupation of Nazis. Okay. All right, let's go get ourselves a ticket. Oh, nice and warm in here. All right, so I think we need to go for this one, adult, not my thirty slotties. Oh, there's free admission on Mondays. Yeah. So what's today? Today is it's Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. Okay, so you can get free admission on Mondays for some reason. Dzień dobry. Poprosimy dwa bilety normalne, two normal tickets. Dobrze. Kartą poprosimy. Sixty zloty, so it's thirty zlotys each. As you can see here for adult, thirty zlotys. Right. Billeti is tickets. Okay, and again in Polish zlotys. Oh yeah, but you want to always do it in Polish zlotys, yeah in the local currency. Thank you. All right, so we've got the ticket. Do you want to take the receipt? All right, so we have a ticket here. This is what it looks like. It looks like a, what is that? I think it's a telephone. Okay, so we've got our ticket. Oops, we got this one. So now, it's a telephone? Yeah. Guys, let me know in the comments. What is this? Is <laughs> I have chess. You have what? I have chess. Oh, chess. Okay. Maybe it's a bit random, but... Uh... <laughs> so we're going to be entering the museum from over here. I wonder what this structure is. I have no idea. I think this is going to be quite an intense experience. You can see the signs all over this Poland. door. Wow. Okay. Good job, bro.
So we have just left the Warsaw Uprising Museum, which was very intense. Mm. The music in there at times was getting your heart kind of racing. Yeah, and it was showing like real people's stories and how their life looked like at all of the preparation. So it was quite traumatic as well at times. So they took us into this 3D room that showed us the destruction of Warsaw, which, if I'm right, happened, a lot of it happened during the, there's always sirens going on, it's pretty crazy here yeah. in Warsaw, but during the uprising, a lot of Warsaw was destroyed, like completely destroyed. So there was 1.3 million people living in Warsaw before the uprising, and then there was 900,000 people afterwards. There's about three or 400,000 people died, and, I think at the end of the uprising, there was probably less than a thousand people yeah, living in Warsaw. Warsaw. Because everything was completely destroyed. The interesting thing was the Red Army. Um, it seemed like they were on their way to help, like an ally. And then they just kind of let it all happen. Unfortunately, the Warsaw uprising didn't actually yeah. prove to be successful. At the end, like uh, Poland was too weak to actually conquer. Warsaw Without the Soviets' help with yeah. the Red Army. Again, Villa T, we're going to buy some tickets to take the metro. So we got different languages. Let's go with English. Uh, if you want to buy a paper ticket, I think that's what we want to do. Buy a paper ticket. Uh, oh, you do it by minutes? Minutes. I think we need just so, 20 minutes. So the ticket lasts for as long as the minutes last? Yeah. Okay, so we're getting a 20 minute ticket to head to the next destination. Adult, two tickets. All right, six. This is Lottie 80. How do we pay? Just oh, just do it? Oh, here, okay. So we can just do that. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Please wait. The tickets will come out here. Now all the tickets. That's, one. that's one ticket. Yes. Is there another one coming? There we go. Alright. So, taking the metro to the next place because the next place is a bit of a walk away and it's pretty cold. And why not show you the metro system? So we just, go, we go through here. Yes. And we just stick it in uh, over here. Through there. All right, this is our train, and it's getting pretty busy. I don't know what time is it. It's almost four o'clock. Four o'clock. I guess go here. Let's go here. So everyone's coming from work. It seems that's why it seems very busy. Right, I so think rush hour is... will start now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to stick this in and then Carolina was like, it's open, okay. Uh, let's just take the steps. So you can see again the mermaid, the defender of Warsaw with the shield and the sword ready to defend Warsaw. There we go. <laughs> so actually Vistula River is the longest river There's in Poland. There's a train Poland. going on in the background. You see the train going along there. Yeah, it's a kind of like a regional train. It's like a yellow and uh, green. And I really like coming here because during summertime it's so nice when there's a breeze from the river and they build this infrastructure so you can walk around and just yeah, have a drink. As there's you can see, it is not summertime, it is the winter time and it is very, very cold. I can't imagine what the temperatures are here, but I'm having to wear this kind of neck scarf because my face is so bitterly cold yes. and my hands are bitterly cold. So this is the longest river in Poland and without me <laughs> falling off, I almost fell off there. Um, anything else, notice like, I, I think you told me that during, especially during the summer, mm -hmm. people can come along here 
and I can see that it goes quite far down. Yeah. But people sit by the Vistula River and yeah, have and some drinks, maybe. The, yeah, Can you, is it legal to drink in the public in Poland? Apparently, this is so interesting because next to the river, people come to drink alcoholic drinks, let's say, because no one can tell them anything because this uh, part of the kind of like a stripe of the city doesn't belong in a way to the city. So police cannot really do anything about that. So if I was having a drink, an alcoholic drink, anywhere else in the city, the police can yeah, say something like illegal. they can probably yeah. give me a fee, a penalty. Yeah. Whereas but if I'm here, Vistula, they wouldn't come. <laughs> so by the Vistula River, this is the place to come drink, yeah. especially during the summer. Not now. It's, it's absolutely freezing. All right, let's jump down. And uh, so again, you got the mermaid just over here. You got. They also have some kind of. You can go on a boat just over there and basically have a little bit of a boat party maybe as a restaurant mm -hmm. i can imagine there's boats that go along the river during the summer yeah there, there are okay and underneath the bridge so what's the name of this bridge just over here do you know yeah i think so okay you can see a lot of people this is probably ideal prime location for having uh there's a fitness park here got people skating just along here let's just film people oh it's actually kind of like tarmacky so people are working out you can see there people skating and of course oh, people riding bikes because this is a bike it's a bike lane actually lots of graffiti cool. okay it's quite nice to be next to the Vistula river but when it's very cold like this i i, I remember coming here during the summer and it's yeah. just completely different vibes Again, another police van. Like, one of the things I love about Poland is it's very safe. So when the sirens go off, it's a police van. Actually, I think it's a good thing. Like maybe people are thinking, oh, there's so much crime happening. Should we cross? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Uh, maybe they're thinking so much crime's happening in the city, but maybe it's actually they are kind of protecting people from the crime. And so that's why the crime rates are quite low compared to the likes of London in the UK. But we are back in Old Town because we've because come for a... Uh, cherry vodka time. It is cherry vodka time. One of my favorite things, yeah. my favorite activities. It's called Piana Vishnia. Piana Vishnia. It actually came to us from Lviv, like Ukraine. And Lviv used to be Poland. Yes, in the past. So you can see these red kind of bottles, you can see the cherries over there, let's head on inside. Oh. Dzień dobry. We've come here for, of course, the cherry vodka. We have cherry liquor, don't have vodka. Oh, oh no, yeah, this is cherry, cherry liquor. liquor. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Okay, warm or cold? Uh, warm. No, no, we would have cold. You want it cold? cold? we would have it served in this type of like thing. Ah. And a warm one you would have in a cup. Okay, uh, so the cold. the traditional one is cold, yes. Okay, we'll go for cold. Okay, for sure? Uh, yes, please. Okay, 100, 150 milliliters. We want to have the, the one like okay, here. <laughs> you want to So you will see. Polish girl wants her Polish alcohol. You will see why. Okay, so you have these beautiful glassware. She's going to pour the cherry in the fuel. Oh, right to the top. <laughs> yeah. So if you drink here, you would need to sip the first kind of sip and then you would get the cherries inside. So that's why I wanted to have it. Okay, so we just like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Be careful to have seeds inside. Oh, is there some seeds inside the cherry? So the, I'm guessing the cherries absorb the liquor. The liquor. Well. Okay. okay. Uh, card, uh, card please. please. Okay, first you pay by my phone, it's okay. All right. Here we go. Apple Pay. Polish or food? Uh, Polish, please. Okay. Thank you, cheers. Thank you. Dziękuję. Dzięki. Na zdrowie. Na zdrowie. Na All right. Should we head outside? Mm. Is it okay if we go outside? Yeah. Okay. There's better lighting. 
So, uh, actually, when me and Carolina have been together for about uh, five years, yeah. uh, in our first year, I think I came to Warsaw, yeah. and we came here for cherry vodka, and Carolina spilt it all over. You can imagine people in the summertime sat with yeah. or standing up with their cherry liqueur, not vodka. And she spills it everywhere. Yeah. And Literally this is early everywhere. on into our relationship. I was thinking, oh my days. I was so clumsy. You were so embarrassed. All right, so again. So what's the taste like? So you say Nostravia, Nostravia to say cheers. Nostravia, yes. Nostravia. Yes. Okay, Nostravia. There we go. So the reason why we really like it is because there's a very strong Ooh. cherry flavor. And as she said, it's like a liqueur, so it's a bit sweet. It's not like it, 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 I, it's, I think it's, it's quite sweet, but it's uh, not like it's sugary. Also, yeah, but it's, it's more also like fruity. quite strong as well. I think it's like 12% it or maybe even 17. I think I had three I of these in a row in Lviv in Ukraine. Yeah. And they do go how. straight to your head. But what I find is I don't tend to get like hungover with this for mm. some reason. It's a very good know. quality. And actually, whereabouts would you get a... Uh, an alcoholic drink for like 22 zlotys. Oh, 22? Yeah, very so, good. Per, per? Per. So it's not too bad and it's quite nice because in the old town area where we are right now, you can just kind of watch people go by. Of course, during the summertime would be better, yeah. but we have the whole place to ourselves. Yeah, and we really love the glasses. Like, just look the glassware, yeah. It's so beautiful. I'm surprised like people like they let us take this outside because I can imagine people would want to like steal this <laughs> 100% but you can also buy it anyways guys we hope you enjoyed our first video here in Poland here in Warsaw we have got many more videos from Poland coming your way so do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> what was that <laughs>